Well, I mean, I've, I've been preparing like I am, just in case, the whole way. Uh, Dave's not ruled out yet. Uh, could do some more tests uh, tomorrow. And then there's a late plan if that doesn't work for the next day, too. But, uh, I mean, we're just preparing myself and the rest of the coaching staff uh, just to handle our business. Um, yesterday afternoon, obviously, we saw Raheem Wilson released by the team. I'm just curious uh, if you can tell us anything about what kind of went into that decision. Yeah, I mean, it's the, it's the dark side of the, the business. I mean, everybody here, we, we love Raheem as a person. Uh, he's, a, he's been a great teammate for a couple of years. Um, and, you know, it's just one of those things. We've got some, some people coming off six. We had a whole bunch go on six at the end of camp, and those people are coming out. And, and it was just a team direct. We're moving in a different direction. But we wish Raheem nothing but the best. How do you think it can affect the rest of the team, seeing a guy like, like a veteran, a likable guy, just gone like I mean... It's, we don't like to talk about that side of things. I mean, it's definitely it's in the back of everyone's mind that those those things can happen. Uh, but uh, you know, we've got some some good football players that we're focused on right here, and, uh, and we're just trying to move forward together. How's Brandon Dozier looked uh, coming back into practice here the last couple weeks? He looked good, man. Uh, he looked good last week when he was when he was eligible to practice. Uh, he's playing fast. Uh, we're excited to have him. He's a guy, obviously, you're very happy to have in the DB group, but a special teams coach. You've yeah, I, I, mean, I think he had 25 special teams tackles last year. He was our best two-phase player last year, um, but he does a lot for this football team. That's the type of uh, person he is, the type of character he has. Uh, you know, I don't know if I can I can overuse him, but uh, he's definitely going to be contributing somewhere for us. Also saw a lot out there of Diedrich Mills. How far along the recuperation trail is he? Uh, he looks good, too. I mean, uh, he, he did a nice job going through the treatment phase of, of getting himself in good shape, you know, and uh, he, he's maintained that, so he doesn't look out of place at all. I know you mentioned Bryce Bell. We, we talked about him a little bit yesterday, but that center position, you're sort of the captain of the O-line. you you got to be the one communicating with everyone. For a young guy like him stepping into that role, uh, is he expected to take on those duties as well, or do you, do you kind of ask Yeah, him? he's got a couple vets beside him, uh, for sure, and I think uh, – the big thing with all that block of five is that they're communicating all the time. And that's when they play their best. Uh, but he did some of that last year as well, so we're, we're pretty confident in it. Yeah, press release just went out about George Scott Hopkins' thousandth game. Obviously a legend big around time. this place. But, uh, big time. You know what? Tell me, you have one memory you'd want to share or just, or just in general? Uh, yeah, was, how long? How much time do you got? You know what I mean? Uh, no, it's uh, Gio's a legend, and uh, there's a reason his name is up on the, up on the wall there. And... Uh, the best thing about Gio is that he comes to work the same way every day. It doesn't feel like a thousand games or a hundred years or however long it's been for him, but uh, that he has the same same attitude and and he's the same guy every day. And uh, it's just been it's just an honor to be around somebody like that. For someone like Dozier who's been out for so long, what do you think the biggest challenges coming back? Is it endurance, timing. Yeah, a little bit of both, and you know the speed of the game too. I mean, it's different jumping in. Week seven for us or whatever it is now, you know, the speed will be there. But uh, for a veteran like him that's been around, it'll take him probably a couple series to get going. And then, uh, I mean, he's a competitor. He's a tear-your-face-off type of guy. And he's game face when he's out here on the practice field. So I think he'll adjust.